Medical Disclaimer This video is for informational purposes. It does not replace the medical advice of a trained doctor. Seek medical advice before beginning any treatment plan. Hey, good morning. Welcome back to my Diabetes World. Let's start the day off. I'm 7-7. Seven, seven. Gee, wasn't I 7-7 seven, seven the other day? Hmm. I repeat. But again, my blood sugar time and range is 89%, which is actually wonderful. Now, what I want to discuss today is what does hyper feel like? Well, for many of you who are diabetics, you know what hyper feels like. It feels like how you felt when you were diagnosed. Well, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk later. Bye. No, but hyperglycemia feels... I've always said this. It feels like you have the flu, but there's no fever. You know, you're just kind of achy. You're just kind of tired. You just want to sleep. <sighs> but left untreated... I what hair is to fill. Left untreated you're going to end up in DKA. And DKA, we've already discussed what DKA feels like. High blood sugar just feels a little less violent. Your body hasn't turned the blood acidic yet. You're just, you don't have enough insulin to cover the sugar in your system. Your body isn't able to fully utilize the glucose for energy. Hence, while you're always tired, you could be ending up wanting to drink more. A lot of times, anything. You end up drinking sugary drinks. Just anything to quench the thirst. The only problem is you're adding. So, if you start going high, you need to follow your doctor's recommendations. Now, your doctor is sort of like the best second... Um, Line of defense there a little bit better. But don't uh, don't go off on yourself saying, Well, yes, I'm gonna diagnose my own and give myself an insulin. So I gave my shoulder, 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 shoulder. Ooh. But your blood sugars are an indicator and if you're high you need to give yourself a correction now I'm not going to tell you the correction I use because you need to see your doctor you need to follow the game plan set forth by your doctor doctor and you are a partner now, just saying, oh, well, I'm going to go off and change that. If your doctor hasn't given you guidelines, you're probably not at that stage of diabetic care. Years ago, I was given the plan. 
Right now, I don't follow the plan. And it's not because there's reasons for it is that my blood sugar is unstable. Oh my god. It's, it's diabetes getting worse. Oh no. Eventually we're going to work to get back to that. But right now I work with my diabetic nurse, my diabetic endocrinologist, the doctor here, which I guess would be my GP, and myself. We're all working to keep me under control. And for the last couple of days, I've been in the high 80s time and range. I think I've mentioned this, but in BC, BC will pay for you to utilize the pump, but it has to show that you are using it, that your blood sugars are at an acceptable range. My blood sugars are not the greatest, but yet they're better than they would be without the pump. My pump is at uh, 6 is either 6, 6.1, 6.2. Now, what is the difference between the two? Tidal range gives you out of the period 24 hours on the pump, shows you out of those 24 hours, what percentage were you within the guidelines? Where hemoglobin A1C takes, it's sort of like, they used to explain it as a report card, but that's kind of way to the wayside. So if your blood sugars are higher, you're going to have more part of the red blood cells will hold on to the sugar. The problem with it is as you go up and go down, it just kind of gives a baseline. Hemoglobin A1C is still a vital test to show that um, you are a diabetic or not. So now, all this comes in, what does it feel like to be hyper? Hyper, you're going to be thirsty, you're going to be tired, you're going to be uh, feeling nauseous. Chances are, if you start throwing up, you've proceeded into DK. Chances. Hyperglycemia feels the same as it would for a type 2 or a type 1. Our blood sugars tend to go higher as a type 1 because we do not have any insulin in our system except what we inject. Type 2s still are producing some insulin. 
So, high blood sugars, you may not really notice them. Chances are you'll write them off or something else. You won't necessarily take action, but very easily can a tip and head into DJ, which ends up to be a medical emergency. Come up with a plan with your doctor about when you get high blood sugars and how you can bring them down safely. And what constitutes a high blood sugar for you. For me, a high blood sugar is a little bit higher rating than it would be for an average diabetic. And that is because I can drop quite quickly. So remember, thirst, you get a lot of urination to get rid of the sugar. You're still going to feel hungry. Just make sure you deal with it. Follow your doctor's guidelines. If your doctor hasn't given you any guidelines, talk to him or her about it. And with that, have a super day. Bye. My email is Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com. Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com.